what's up guys how do you guys do here and today I will be showing you guys how to get Battlefield 4 for free um, this includes uh, campaign full uh, multiplayer full but you're gonna have to need or you're gonna have to find crack servers um, you can't play on real servers since this is not a real version um, heads up this is for um, demonstrational purposes only um, you can follow through the steps but I wouldn't recommend using it completely to pirate Battlefield 4. Um, I recommend supporting the developers and everything they do for the game. And let's get right into it. Today you're going to be need uTorrent, Damien Tools Lite, and that's it. Here you're going to go ahead and go to these three links, Battlefield 4 Reloaded, to get the torrent for Battlefield 4, Damien Tools Lite to mount the image, and uTorrent to actually get the program. So you're going to go ahead and press get this torrent right here, this magnet link. It'll bring up um, a little box saying launch this application and it'll bring up uTorrent for you and start downloading. Now don't be worried, it's going to take a bit, it took me 3 hours and 15 minutes. It took me a little bit, but it's not that bad. 23 gigabytes does seem a lot, but it's a huge game and it's completely worth in the end. Once you have finished downloading this, go ahead and double click and go to DVD1. Now this is where your Damien Tools Lite comes into play. Um, you're just going to go ahead and double click the ISO file and it'll start mounting the image. Once it has mounted the image you can go ahead and bring up your Damien Tools Lite and open it. You go ahead and find it on... sorry about that. You have to go to the um, your PC. Um, I'm on Windows 8, so maybe different if you're on Windows 7, but that's okay. You're going to go ahead and go to these three dots right here, right above install. You're going to have to um, go to your PC again, and then go to the C drive, and then put it in Program Files x86. Make sure you do this so it, it's easy to find and you know where you installed it at. So once you go ahead and do that, press OK, and then make sure everything's OK, make sure it is in your language, and then press install. Once this has gotten to a certain point, I'll show you the next step. Alright guys, once it brings you up to this screen, you're going to go ahead and bring up your Damien tools again, and your file that has the DVD1, DVD2, and DVD3. You're going to go ahead and unmount the first one and you're going to go ahead and go to the DVD2 folder and double click the ISO file and it'll mount the uh, second disk or the second volume that it'll need need or require that for the install. Once you have done that, make sure it's mounted. Um, one second guys, sorry making sure it mounts the image okay let's make sure it's mounted alright once you see um, it'll say rld-bdf4b.iso you don't really want to look for that you really want to look here where it says reloaded dvd2 that's how you know it's in your daemon tools and you're going to go ahead and mount that. And once it uh, uh, pops up, you can go ahead and minimize that and go back to the installer and press OK. And it'll continue with the, uh, <clears throat> with the installation. Now it'll be the same thing for the last DVD, but I'm going to go ahead and show it what it looks like. So be right back. It, OK, it brought up the screen. And this will be the last and final time it'll bring this up. Go ahead and bring up the folder again. Go to DVD3 and bring up your Damien Tools. Sorry, I didn't mean to open you torrent. Go ahead and um, you can just drag it or mount it. I'm just gonna drag it over. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and mount that one. Once it is mounted, you can go ahead and exit out all of this and just press OK. And it'll continue with the installation and finish, and then I'll show you the next step from there. 
the installation finally finished and you can go ahead and exit the installer progress do you want to exit no okay apparently it's still in progress but we can go ahead and continue on with the next step it's just installing some extra things so it can run the game smoothly you, once you do that you're gonna go ahead and go to your uh, Damien tools folder or not your Damien tools folder you're just gonna go to your folder um, you're gonna go to your PC and you're gonna go right here you're gonna go ahead and open it and it'll show these two things you wanna go to go to the crack and then just highlight these two and then just copy them now you're gonna go where you installed Battlefield 4 which was in your program file is x86 and it's right here and then you're just gonna go ahead and paste it do this for the next one complex okay wait oh okay I have to do that again because I messed it up Alright, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to the application right here. You're going to go ahead and send it to your desktop, which will create a shortcut, and you can rename it whatever you want, or just leave it the same. Rename it Battlefield 4. Now, we are not done, so don't go ahead and exit the tutorial, pause it, and go play. You have one more thing to do, and then you're ready to go. You're going to go ahead and go, you're going to right click your shortcut go to properties sorry properties you want to go to compatibility and run this program as administrator and then go ahead and check run this program in compatibility mode for whatever uh, OS or operating system you're running mine is Windows 8 so I'm going to leave it there and you can go ahead and press apply and OK now this is finished and I'm going to switch to the gameplay to show you what Battlefield 4 looks like and that it actually works See you in a bit. Alright guys, this is Battlefield 4. Um, I hope the installation and tutorial went, on, went as smoothly as it did for me. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer it. And this is Battlefield 4, guys. It is. Ju it just looks amazing. I can't really bring it to its full potential because my laptop can't play on the highest settings, but that's okay. As long as it works, right? That's right. It's, it's fine with me. Um, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you have a great day.